All right, this is 1.2.4. Going to do drawing one and two with dimensions. Well, I hope. I don't really know what I'm doing, so we'll see if I get lucky. Um, made a folder. I'm going to make a non-shaped document. I'll call this drawing one. Looks like a U piece or something. I don't know. So off we go. Uh, I've been telling people this for a while. They probably haven't been listening, but that's okay. What else is new? Uh, you want to make your front view the front view. So when I start the sketch, the most front view is going to be that kind of U-ish piece. I always put the bottom corner on the origin. That's a really, really good habit. And for those who still haven't figured out this, when I click, now that corner is set, it opens up this down here so I can type on top of it, and that's two inches. And then it goes to this one automatically. Now, if I blow it, just hit enter, or I click somewhere else. Now I'm trying to make another box. Oh, no, I never got around. Well, then you have to dimension it, which a lot of people just do in the first place. Whatever works for you. So that's 1.5. Now, I am noticing something about my dimensions. I'll see if I can fix that later. I don't really like the way it's doing it, but that's okay. Now, there's a cut over here. Uh, I just went to the center line. I don't think I wanted to do that. Yeah, actually, I did. <laughs> Lucky me. Uh, I might overconstrain this. We'll see how it goes. So it gave me that, which is 0.5 wide, and it drops down one. Nice. I'm going to zoom in a little, see what I'm doing. Uh, I don't want this here. And that was the one I just drew, and this is the background, or vice versa. Nice. And I want to make sure this is dimension to one inch. Um, if I try and change that, it would probably get mad at me. Yeah, see, it's mad. Um, so I'm going to undo that. I'm just going to delete it. Uh, because I clicked it to the midpoint. So now I'm just going to dimension, make sure I'm happy with it. And then I will escape dimension. It's grayed out because it's like, don't mess with me, man. I've, you, you snap to the midpoint. You don't want to change it anymore. So this looks pretty good. So let's finish our sketch and extrude it three quarters of an inch. And I like looking that way. And I'm turning off all my views. I am keeping the origin though. Doesn't really bother me too much. Extrude it 0.75. Done. And that is it. It's it's built. So I'll hit this and get a better picture. Automatically saves. Click. Let us create a drawing. Let us put it on ANSI B, which I usually go through here, but now it knows I like that one, so it gives that to me right away. I hit OK, and it takes a second to load up. And I say, yeah, that's the piece I want, and it should give me my front view. Now you'll notice that we're just going to do a front view, and I'm going to make sure I leave some space for it, and a top view. So now we're going to project the view. Top, don't bring it over. Make sure it's straight up. And I don't know if I left enough space here. So I'm going to drag this one down a smidge. No, it's I'm still in project view. That's fine. I'll just throw that up there. Uh, so get out of project view and see if I can drag this down. Good. Hopefully I left enough room for dimensions. Now, do I need any hidden lines? Uh, looking at the other drawing, no. Everything is shown pretty clearly here. Do I need any center lines? No, I'm pretty good there. Uh, let's see if I can put my name. Hey, my name is here. How cool is that? And how about a title? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's try clicking on that one. Double click and uh, drawing. Hey, how about that? It does it for me. I'm a capital fan. Drawing one. You, oops, you piece. Sure, why not? Well, that's pretty cool. Anything else I should fill out here? Drawing number, nah. G1 of 1, scale 2 to 1. Interesting, interesting. All right, now how do I dimension? I don't know. Let's go find it. Uh, that's a text box. That's a note. That is a surface finish. That's a weld. Hmm. Boy, I feel silly. 
Oh, wait, there's the dimension. So it did um, three quarters up here. And I am betting it's going to give me a decimal. And it doesn't lock in a place, which bothers me. It locks, looks like it locks a little vertically, but because the old one, the other software we used to use locks in place. Who cares? It looks fine. What is this? Click on that. Hmm. Too many decimals. I only want two. But I don't want that. I want fractional inches. Uh, is there an OK button? No. Three quarter. Yeah, cool. How about that? Wonder how I changed that up here. Dimension. No, I don't do it there. But there's a spot I can change up here. No, nope, that's something else. Versions and history. Great version. Hmm. Well, I don't mind not knowing what I'm doing because it shows you just how you should be used to doing these things. Just fly with it and see where it goes. All right. Here to here. Hopefully it doesn't give me an angle. Cool. Right about there should do it. I'm gonna fix this so it's just one. Um, normally I would uh, change this to fractional too, but I don't need to. Now let's dimension again, and this time the whole thing here to here, and we'll put it right about there. And this one I will definitely change to fractional inches. Let's see what it gives me. Hey, one and a half. How cool is that? All right. Again, there's a way to fix that with one of these buttons up here. You can set the global command instead of local, and you have to change it every time. But hey, working. What do we care? All right, let's do the rest of these. This one's a one. I go with fractional inches. That'll probably take care of it for me. <laughs> nice. This one, I want right on the same line. It doesn't snap, so I have to eyeball it. Got lucky. This one, I definitely want fractional. Cool. Um, now, what else do I need? I need the two, and I think I'm done. Oh, look at that. It does snap to a center line. I don't think that's a center line. Interesting. By the way, for those who don't know what snap means, it means it like automatically grabs like it does with the center point. Just, you know, hey, you're close. It's going to give it to you exact. That's it. Snip that. Put that in your portfolio. Cool. How about we make another drawing? Another document. I have to be very careful. I shouldn't just say drawing. Uh, whoops. Drawing to uh, <laughs> lock with a hole. Very descriptive. All right. This one's pretty easy to make. I hope. Famous last words. Sketch on the front. View the front because I like it. It is a two by two and a half inch block. Catch the origin. Click. That's 2.5. Enter, two, enter. Got my block. I'm going to be silly and try and do my circle at the same time, which is right about here. Click. The diameter is 0.75 or 3 fourths, and I got to dimension it. Uh, at this point, some people are like, wait a minute, I thought you dimensioned it on the drawing. And I would say, yes, there's two types of dimensions. There's a dimension in the sketch, which is just for locating. And then there is a dimension on the drawing, which is so whoever is using this can see what the heck's going on. Oops, that's supposed to be one. I think that's it. Yeah, that was easy. Well, we'll see if I can extrude this properly. So I want to extrude the whole thing, but not the hole. Cool. All right, so extrude. See what happens. Hey, it does it. How nice. And it should be 1.5 inches. Done. Hit this thing so it zooms in. Hit the plus. Create drawing. 
By the way, notice I'm never like in a big rush. Like click and click and click. I'm always taking my time because I make so many mistakes. Put it on a B size. Why? Why not? I think A size is ludicrously small. Uh, but we can print B size, so we're kind of fortunate in that respect. This is what I want. I want the front view about here. I should have plenty of room for dimensioning. I'm going to project the top view here, which gives it plenty of room. And do I have to click it again? I do. My orthogonal one up here, my isometric one up there. All right, before I get crazy, we need hidden views. Oh, I got to turn that off. Man, that's a common mistake. Show our hidden lines. Very nice. Hope you all heard that. And then I need center points. Don't have to do it up here, just here. You and you, not working. Oh, that's a different function. Notice the mistake, constantly used to making mistakes, so I'm constantly fixing them on the fly. Very nice, I want this one now. And I just click the left and the right, and it gives me a center line. I'm going to escape. I guess I'm not going to escape. And now dimensions. Uh, here we go. Dimension top one because it's easiest. One point five. Nice. Uh, one of the big things about dimensioning is that you want to put as many of the dimensions on the front view as humanly possible because that's the best view. It's the one that people are going to look at the most. It's the one you should try to dimension the most. Here to here. Not close enough. Make it fractional. I'd be fascinated if anybody could figure out how to do that. I think that would be really cool. Uh, dimension. Okay, now life gets a little dicey. I got a dimension from here to here. Good. Gonna make it fractional again. Click somewhere else. Then I got a dimension from here to here. Get out there. Now I'm curious if it's gonna do this. Nope. The, ugh, ugh, that's ugly. How do I fix that? Can I drag one of these little boxes? Hmm. Hideous. What does this say? Reset text position. Uh, yeah, that works. <laughs> How about that? Oh, boy, I love just screwing around and figuring things out on the fly. All right. Uh, we need to dimension here to here. And done. And then a new one. We need a diameter. Let's see how this works. I'm very curious. So they put it down here now. They didn't put it up on the drawing, on the piece. They put it off the piece. They didn't crisscross up through things. It didn't come up here. This actually would work, but it's inside. That's hideous. Get it out on its own. All right. And let's get that fractional. By the way, you might be thinking, oh, I have to make everything fractional all the time. I would never make things fractional. That's just the way they wanted it. Notice a little uh, Greek letter. Uh, phi, theta. I don't know. It's not theta. Phi or something like that. That is a circle with a diagonal line through it. It means diameter. Good to know that if you can. So hey, I got hidden lines. I got center lines. Hey, why'd you bother putting a center line up here? You don't even have to dimension to it. That's how we do it. There's no other way to describe it. That is how we do it. And uh, I think this is a good idea. I'm still on dimension. Click here. No, I, don't, I want to click up here. I don't know what's going on right now. Click. No. It's at the middle. Okay. Drawing. Note. Say anything about note. 